intercessory prayer is praying for others. Jesus prays for us, like he did for Peter. Intercession causes us to internalize God's word, and it changes us to change your heart to what his will for your life is. And when he changes your heart and you can pray and know that what you're praying for is his will for your life, it's going to happen. And that's one of the ways prayers works. Prayer works to change our hearts. Intercession unites our hearts to people and places we pray for. Intercession renews our hope and faith. And it makes a long-term impact beyond this range. Intercession humbles us. It changes the spiritual atmosphere of cities and nations. It, it affects leaders. We are supposed to be praying for our leaders. Why? Well, what if I don't like that guy? Do I really got to pray for him? Yeah, because you praying for him can affect his heart. And it's a tool that God uses to do it. It's not your power. It's the power of God and how he chooses to use his power. You can see Paul praying for each church in every letter in the New Testament. And what his word says about asking him for stuff in Matthew 7, 7, 8. It says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. And he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. John 15, 7 says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. And there are a lot of stipulations that go with that. Because it is true and it is a promise, but it's a promise with some stipulations. The main stipulation that we need to focus on and think about is James 1, 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So if we don't believe what we pray, then... Don't expect results. Verse 6 pretty much tells us that when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. For that man ought not to expect that he will receive anything from the Lord. Works. Prayer works to change our hearts. A repentance prayer, if we're not coming to him with a repentant heart, he's not going to hear our prayers. Uh, it's that simple. He requires a pure heart. Intercession causes multiple blessings to return to the intercessor. Now that's an immediate thing you always get back from praying for other people and is all the more reason why my board should be filled full of people wanting to pray tonight. So do I really think a live stream prayer meeting can end the coronavirus? I believe God can end it any way, anytime, anyhow he wants. And prayer is one of the ways he does that. <laughs> And prayer is one of the, the tools he uses, and we are the people he uses to effectively do his work. And the power of prayer is something to behold.